Alright, what is up you guys and of course welcome to the UBL Week 8 versus the Goldeo Dragons and his New York Empoleons. Um, now Goldeo seems to be quite the guy actually, really enjoy just watching his content so as always make sure to check that one out. Uh, he plays um, a bit more bulkier than uh, usually player does and that's a good thing for us as uh, my initial thought going into the game is going to be somewhat offensive. Uh, but his team, however, is quite offensive to an extent, with a lot of, you know, defensive backbones. Um, but overall, I enjoyed talking to him. Um, he was really, really trying to get this battle done very much earlier, but due to the heat and whatnot, I wasn't able to kind of get to him. So we decided to battle on Monday, uh, which is today. <laughs> so I hope to just kind of cover my initial thought for this wi battle, and hopefully we'll pan out, because if we lose this game, we are potentially are knocked out. Uh, but if you win, uh, we actually have, um, I wouldn't say decent chance of making it forward, but we absolutely are in the running uh, still. Um, <laughs> we are 2-5, so it's uh, it, it's not great, but at the same time, you know, what, I, what else can I do? Um, this team, however, has a type of Coco, as you guys can see on the screen here. Uh, type of Coco, Scalpy, Crocodile, Skarmory, Slowbro, Heracross, Rodom, Mole, Cryogono, Driftflame, Licky Licky, and Charizard, the X-Form. Um, now there are a few uh, iffy situations that should be to, of course, being accounted for as I see one issue already with one of my mods, being that it's a naughty nature, it's not supposed to be, it's supposed to be adamant. Uh, first book we'll bring to the game, uh, Sora, Sarah, Aura, tend to struggle with that name, I'm calling a Sora too many times. Stats attribution, quite frankly, it's a lot of bulk. Um, only invested to outspeed Scalopede and plus one, since I'm using a Scarf variant anyway. Um, so I could go at him with the robber safely here. And um, combinations here are Plasma Fist, uh, Fire Punch, Close Combat, and Outrage. Outrage is if, um, well, for Jarzon X, basically, as it is an immense force meter to deal with. Fire Punch is there for Rotom alone, to an extent Skarmory, but Plasma Space is going to be our spamble move, and, and even of course more so as, um, well, let's just say that it is. Um, if he sets up uh, Electric Train for me, there is no switch-ins for uh, the Plasma Fist attack, and with Adamant, yeah, it's gonna sting. So yeah, looks great, looks really great, I'm definitely gonna love that set. Uh, second set is uh, a rather bulky Curem, modest variant with leftovers, uh, distribution, a lot of health, a lot of special defense. Uh, this Pokemon deals significantly more well with Tampa Koku, but also can 1-on-1 -on versus Rotom, Slow, Rotom Mole, Crogonal, um, and that's the idea here, as uh, it is response to those Pokemon's anyway, more so Skarmory and Slowbro. His defensive backbone is quite good, but Curem deals with them effortlessly, and I really like using it. Combination here, Ice Beam, Dragon Pulse, Shushan Bolt, and Roost. Dragon Bolt, or Dragon Pulse, is only there for Charizard, and um, the idea is that due to my bulk, if I'm fully fully invested, I can easily take a Dragon Claw at least once, and retaliate with that Dragon Pulse, I'd easily kill it, so, yeah, it's good, it'll work. I'll... I'm feeling really adamant here that that's going to be quite right versus this matchup. Um, then the third Pokemon, which is something I've been shaky whether or not to use, and that was Berberical. It was either this one or Gligar. Um, but going into I've decided to have a lead Focus Sash variant here. I really hope it does work. It does depend on his man or you know, the lead, but um, adamant max attack, there's really nothing taking that quite well. Slowbro can survive it, Skarmory has sturdy and can survive it. Besides that, I should be fine. I can set up against anything in this team with Focus Sash in mind. Uh, Liquidation, Executor, and Earthquake, which Shell Smash is quite enough. Never think I've run that simple versus anything. Um, then we have Scissor, Full Gore, Adamant variant. Really, really offensive this time around. I was considering going Special Defensive uh, versus Slowbro and whatnot, but it's not a requirement. And quite frankly, um, Slowbro offensively works very well here, besides Charizard X, which of course Wallet 
And with the moves I decided to bring, to an extent I'll say that also Skarmory do wallet, but it all depends on the sprint on the Skarmory. Um, something we need to watch out for is of course combination of Whirlwind and whatnot, but, but it's, this is definitely a Pokemon that can really stall against us, but that's why we have Sword Stance. Um, at plus 6 I do roughly 40% anyway, so I, if it doesn't have Whirlwind I should be able to set up versus it, but overall... Um, if I get a Swords Dance, I mean, general, I do a lot of that as far as the whole team, so... Yeah, I trust in uh, I trust in this Pokemon, I really do. Uh, and then we follow that up with, uh, of course, God of War. An Assault Vest variant this summer round, Modest variant. Um, this set is supposed to actually deal with Coco, if Sarah or is forced to. Uh, it also deals with Rotom, Krogonal, Lickily, to an extent, Drifflim, to an extent, Slowbro, and Skarmory. Uh, Statribution is quite fair, we don't creep anything because we don't necessarily need to. Uh, we want to be the slower one to retaliate, and more so versus Rotom Wash for or Rotom more. I do want to be slower than that so I can, uh, at least uh, this is both switch against me, I can damage something and switch in. Um, so yeah, this combination, Focus Blast is only there for Licky Licky. This combination is plenty versus the matchup, so I think it will work. Um, and the last Pokemon is going to be the spicy one. We have a Stallbreaker, Jaros. <laughs> Calm variant with leftovers in Intimidate. Uh, never used something like this, and um, it is kind of shaky if it works. Um, Gar or Jaros has one good merit, and that is that his offensive threats aren't necessarily dealing with this Pokemon quite well. Barring, of course, Charles X and plus one, it just isn't working. And Tabacoco just wins versus this Pokemon. But Crocodile can hurt it that much, Golubi can hurt it, Skarmory can hurt it. Uh, slow roll depending on set can hurt it. Heracross can potentially hurt it. Uh, but besides that, it does quite well. Um, I was trying to gen Whirlwind on this Pokemon, but failed to do so. So we are bound with Scald, actually, as you guys see. Clearly, very physical offensive and some speed investment. Um, I don't know why I brought that anyway. But basically, I don't need anything else. I guess I can watch. Probably invest in my special attack. Boom. There we go. Whack. So anyway, <laughs> Skull Toxic Taunt to Protect. Uh, as I said, Skull is there as filler. I really want a whirlwind, but um, I just couldn't make that legit, and that's that's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, with that said, I should cover the Pokemon I was uh, debating on bringing because I kind of feel I needed to talk about them. First one, um, Defensive Sean Lore again. Um, this time, more special defensive than last time. Uh, decided not to bring it because it's just. It isn't necessarily working versus a Crocodile that probably wouldn't versus it, even if I burn it uh, because of Earthquake. Uh, the other one was Glyngar, which was a special defensive variant this time around with Sun Creep. Basically, to if his Skarmory is crept by me, I should be able to go before him and be able to defog Roost. I have only combination of Earthquake U-turn, so it's far from ideal and Skarmory wins versus this matchup, which is why I decided to bring Barbarical instead, because at least that Pokemon can uh, work something out. So, with that said, let's see how the game went. It's going to be some kind of transition here, and I'll debate that even more further. No, before closing up, what I am expecting... <laughs> Dear Lord, I missed that last time versus Zoda, I don't really want to cover that. Uh, I expect Tabakoku, absolutely. I expect Skarmory, Slowbro, um, Rodan Moe to an extent. Charizard X, absolutely making it. Uh, last Pokemon can be whatever, but I feel it can be Scolipede or Krukudal. Mods I don't see making it are Krogonal and Drift Flame. I don't believe they work that well. Uh, Licky Licky, kind of shaking that. I don't believe defensive route. As he also had a good defensive backbones with Skarmory and Slowbro. Uh, I don't believe Licky Licky should make it. Heracross, however, 50 50 on that. A Scarf will be just fine versus me. Um, and since I don't use an Scarf besides Serora, it can be extremely effective. So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Absolutely, Coco's making it. Bro, Skarmory, absolutely. Charizard X, those four is absolutely common. And then it's, you know, shaking in between, but I feel something like Rotomo makes sense. I think it's very good. And Heracross or Crocodile or Scalopede, something around that. So, yeah, with that said, it's going to be some, some transition. We're going to follow up that up with what I thought about the game itself before going so, in. So, right. Um, I should say, before going into the team itself, this is a very strange game as. Um, the first 20 turns are really, really fast-paced with a lot of good switch of momentum 
and then there is an exchange of 27 turns of what if we don't have an offensive merits left what will happen then uh, it's gonna speed up that part but quite frankly that part was more exciting than the fast part in the beginning uh, i just really want to enforce that because it turns out we both built quite interesting teams here and i was really really glad to battle this game as uh, it's probably been one of my greatest battles so far uh, even more so in ubl as i really think we both got to showcase are really really d different designs for this matchup so with of course that said we predicted the team to an extent right we got coco skarmory slowbro charles x absolutely uh, but then we see both here across in scolopy then the first thing that went through my head was that their lord had barbaric last stealth frog would it would have a really nice game here um barbaric is going to be my lead anyway i definitely feel it's going to be an extremely potent pokemon versus my opponent and that's what we're going to go with um so with that said let's go into the battle so from the get-go here, my opponent's going to lead off with Heracross, and this is alright, as uh, I said before, I was expecting this Pokemon to be potentially Scarfed, so I thought, let's go for that EC Shell Smash, you know, and try to retaliate afterwards. I figured about it, I should probably just go for an attack here, Liquidation would have KO'd this Heracross, and that would have been a massive, massive Pokemon out of the way. That said though, I am Gutsy, I go for the Shell Smash, and then I'm gonna protect him to go to his Slowbro as a really good defensive switching towards this Pokemon. Um, so, at, at, at the time, I thought it was a great idea. Uh, but it brings Skarmory, so this is of course four times resisted. Um, so that's fine, but he has Rocky Helmet, so, uh, so, so we lose Barbarical here, and that's, that's the added climax of a lifetime. So, I actually pose going to, of course, Voltar here being a very safe switching for me. And I was going to go for Taunt here just to ruin his Skarmory. But it turns out he crept for Gligar, which is base 85. Um, so, I'm slower than the Skarmory, so I can't taunt it. So, this was a bit of an issue as I really don't have the means of stopping this Pokemon from doing, you know, Roost and whatnot. Skull does a fair chunk here, so it's not that bulk of a Skarmory, which is fine in its own right. Uh, but it goes to Elder Guard, and that's is the Tapu Koku, and um, I really don't have a real switch in towards it. Like I said, Gardevoir was a switch in to an extent I should say that also Serora was. So I decided to take Serora in, and um, basically, though I do expect him to U-turn, I at least get a Plasma Fist going on. It says I don't have a ground type. Um, this Pokemon should do just about right. Uh, but he gets a free switch in here. He's gonna of course use it to the maximum and bring it in here across and, and, and we're gonna showcase this here across and that's That's not a switch in as uh, you know Adam and boosted He um, just get bumped. That's what I'm trying to say here as um, He's now gonna bring in his Charizard X now. I expect him to go directly for um, a Dragon Dance. Uh, I think that would be in the safest play now and I'm locked into Plasma Fist but I'm feeling I'll at least get some damage going on versus this because initially that, that is what I want anyway and then I was hoping it was going to try to re revenge me in an extent here. Plasma Fist does roughly 40% so it's not bad damage. Um, as you guys see, yeah, he absolutely danced here. Um, so since I don't have any way of actually getting rid of rocks, I thought at least anyway could bring in my Jaros, and with that, uh, Jaros should be able to. Well, you know what he should be able to do? Even Timonate, stall it out. Um, he keeps going for Dragon Dancing, which means that I'm pretty sure this Pokemon has Roost and not Thunder Punch, which was something I was kind of fearing. Uh, but going for another Dragon Dance means that after that Roost, I probably do will stab. It makes sense. So, I just like over Toxic here. I don't have the means to fear it that much as it goes for Dragon Claw. Um, it does still a lot of damage. Tough club boost and whatnot. Yeah, it's it's a beast in its own right. Um, so get this thing toxic and having it on timer is huge. But you know, I am not able to touch this Pokemon, so I really, really need the toxic to be able to somewhere down the line kind of alleviate it and make it fall. Uh, so fold that up with a protect, and uh, I was kind of like looking back at this game. This part was kind of tough decision for me to take, as um, considering that I was. Feeling Cure and Black was more important here, and I really didn't want to sack Jaro, so I decided to switch in God War, hoping he was gonna go for Dragon Claw and I switch back Jaro for another Intimidate. Uh, basically, to preserve this God War as much as I could, but um, yeah, we, we, were, we were not able to. 
Um, Flare Blitz does a plenty of damage. And uh, I guess the only like good thing here is that Flare Blitz in combination with Toxic do take it out. So it's a double down and a very strange one at that. But hell, I take it. As uh, he now brings in Slowbro. And I brought in my Mega Scissor. And here is where I'm gonna... Um, like this play, this play is beyond me how beautiful it is. Um, I go directly for you know, I'm adamant, you know, this U turn is gonna hurt, it it could very well do it KO. Uh, but it's gonna show me that he's not that offensive of a slow bro. So I'm thinking, right, he's gonna go for something cheeky. I bring Cure and Black, uh, try to really engage what, what possible set he could be. Uh, that was the only thing I was thinking. And um, what do you know, like. Looking back, back at it, he has counter. I would never predict this, and I think it's such an awesome play. There, I, I just bow down to that. That was that was incredible. What a what a play. Uh, so anyway, my switching here is to bring back um, Scissor. Um, Seraora could have been a switch in, but I really don't want that Pokemon Will down too much. Even though at this point, Seraora could potentially sweep, as uh, there really aren't that many good switch ins left to. Uh, Sarah Aura at all, and uh, so I thought this was probably my golden opportunity. I, I'm gonna go for potential sweep here, as there is nothing that can take me out. There really isn't. Uh, so it brings me in the Scalipede, and uh, yeah, this Plasma Piss is plenty for him. That's it. It's gonna, it's gonna bump. There is, there is really nothing to it. Um, so he has Black Sludge. So his play here is gonna be to uh, go for Protect, uh, try to get back. You know. Of course, as much HP as possible, and with speed boost, you know, he's still slower than me, but with two speed boosts, you build out speed. That's that's kind of cool, as, um, of course, now we follow that up with another attack, which will fail, and we will KO this Pokemon. So, we are free for free right now, and really looking at it, Serora is looking to be able to wrap the game just fine here. It's, it's looking stellar, uh, at least so I thought, as it brings Elder Guard. Uh, now here's where things turn. I shouldn't say sour for me, but uh, I know Electric or Plasma Fist will not take him out. Um, but one thing that will is actually his Dazzling Gleam. And the thing is here, his Dazzling Gleam only had roughly, or call it that word, a six percent chance of taking me out. But it didn't matter in hindsight of things because he also has quick attack just for that very situation. So it bothered me back then, but at the same time, I would still have fault versus that Coco anyway. But I only have Scissor and, you know, Gyro's left, and I don't look in that hard anymore, I really aren't. But um, it turns out that here's where the game begins for the both of us, but I need to, of course, um, kind of get this to go faster. So here is where the real games begin, but yeah, again, to the versus that, I'm going to bring in Jaros, and this Jaros is going to stay in for at least another 20 turns. It is something that I, like, I am so impressed how this turned out, but basically he only had Iron Head, and since I am not only intimidated him, but, you know, being significantly bulky, I'm actually have the means to stall this Pokemon out. I don't take more damage, but I'm able to retaliate back. And in theory, when it comes to PP, I probably survive this Pokemon more than he will survive me. So, I'm gonna keep scalding, and uh, what do you know? Here comes Slowbro, and a Toxic Dad, so it's on a timer, and depending on its set, he can't win versus meter. Um, however, you know, he can Skull Burn me, and that probably would be the wrap up, but you know, we're not there. As again, I'm able to protect the combination here, but it's gonna showcase Slack Off, which. It is unfortunate, but it's not game breaking for me. Um, so I stay in and just keep scalding. In theory, I could have just protected and just make the uh, save as much calls as possible, but it, it theory won't need anything. Now, my opponent goes back to his Skarmory. I, of course, went for Protect, which of course failed. And I get a lot of HP back to me. And I am baiting hard, hard to get that burn. But uh, I, I won't say we failed to do so, but it's absolutely not what we wanted. Now, he brings in back again his slow bro. And like I said, here we keep going for that you know, combination. We get a lot of recovery back to us. And uh, he's going to switch out, and I'm thinking I'm going to go for protect. But I actually went directly for a skull, getting this play right. 
but it survives with a slither of health. We don't get to burn. Uh, so I go for protect. Uh, I don't know why I did that, to be honest. But he shows me Dazzling Gleam. It turns out this Tapu Koko is um, U-turn, um, Dazzling Gleam, Hidden Power Ice, and something else. But he doesn't have... He doesn't have Thunder Bolt. So we are now two for two. Two defensive Pokemon against one another. And uh, it is all about if we can whittle down that Skarmory. Slowro, in theory, can't win versus us. Uh, unless he get a skull burn eventually, which seems to be, of course, likely to happen. Which it does, of course it does. But the game is far from over, but now we can't recover anymore, which is extremely unfortunate for us. Um, but you know, what else can I do? Um, we get this Pokemon to a lot of HP down, and that's really, really good. We get the Taunted, so we can't slack off. Uh, we predict that right, which is great for us, as it, of course, just keeps Will him down. Um, so from here on, I am, you know, one of those really strange situations as uh, I still need to get Skarmory down to a level where I can't take it out and I need to stop it from roosting or taunting me. So um, that was basically my play as I decided to keep Comfort Skull Burn, but once I predicted him to roost, I decided to taunt him. We do get to burn here, which is probably at least like. 40 turns too late <laughs> but at least we got it uh, and he can't take me out from here which is great so like i said i decided to taunt him here uh, mainly because i wanted to get if if i die versus this i can get in scissor for free uh, and i can ruse set up you know stuff like that um and he should be of course will himself down for range um which is you know great for us and skull here will bring him slightly down but yeah, we're not in absolute range here, as uh, at this point I probably need to be at least plus two in Bullet Punch to be able to take it out, so that's going to be unfortunate. Uh, and everybody's really good here and goes to his slow bro. Now, I'll do a play here which I'm I'm quite iffy on whether or not I should have done, but I actually went for a taunt here, uh, forcing him to attack my uh, Slowbro, because we already know that he wasn't physical for sure. Is whether or not you know he does so much or so little damage on me that I predicted him to be not especially offensive. Uh, so I was gonna go for forcing him to attack me as I can roost. Um, that seems to be the ideal play. Um, but he only has Scald and not Flamethrower, which is good for us. But um, it looks like Toxic will be able to take out next turn, so I decided to go for a Sword Stance just to really, really wrap up the game. Um, as it goes from the Skull, we are able to survive it, but he gets to burn on me. So while we take it out with Toxic, um, unfortunately for us, we are dying to that burn and we lose this game 1-0. So, looking back at the game, as you know, I, was, I would still have lost this game, I would have lost 0-0 because, well, I was clearly in range for Rocky and it took me out, and it was not like he was not gonna roost in that turn anyway. And uh, yeah, you know, that that's on me, if anything. Um, but like I said, looking back at this game, there is, I would say, two free plays that would have been better for me, um, that, I, that I should have done smarter. First and foremost, lead Barbarical. I should have just gone with that liquidation, just knocked out that hair across. I would never have showcased her or was Scarf, that would have been great for me. But or at least gone for liquidation and a shell smash to get really damaged on Skarmory. Uh, since we found out that it wasn't necessarily that offensive, liquidation would have done roughly 60%, that would have been huge. Uh, it would have forced him to really, really start to. Um, roosting and that would have been Sarah Aura was coming in for free it was going to do a massive amount of damage that was probably my biggest misplay and it's a very decisive first turn but you know you win some you lose some um, there was no reason for me going for like a combination of liquidation and Excisor do knock out Slowbro so going back at it there was no no reason for me of doing the play I did and I was regretting it like the second I pro or pushed Excisor realizing that you know, Skarmory is going to be a very safe switch and it's probably going to go for that. Um, but yeah, that, that was fine. Like, that was not probably the biggest issue. I'll probably say the biggest one was um, losing Guard War early. Um, I was considering, like I said, losing um, Jaros uh, or losing Kieran Black instead of uh, Guard War when I switched out when I had Jaros. Uh, 
decided not to. And Guard War turns out to be probably a Pokemon that would have ramped up this game quite easily. Uh, mainly because of the 80% damage it would down with Thunderbolt versus uh, Skarmory, but also versus Slowbro. Uh, since we it isn't necessarily that bulky, it would have been dealing with that Pokemon quite fine, and Coco wouldn't stand a chance. Um, but like I said, that's probably me too, as it is an inferior big mistake on my side. But at the time, I thought it was the right play. And besides that, the only, like, I guess, cover the third one is that Jaros is not as speeding as Skarmory uh, because it like, wrecked my Gligar. I should have had that in mind. Uh, it was really, really bothering me uh, because uh, looking back at the matchup that was here, I could, in theory, um, win versus Skarmory. Skarmory would have never been able to recover versus Jaros. That, that in its own right would have been great. That would also at least avoid early rocks for me. And of course, versus Slowbro, it just would have been eventually burned anyway, so it probably could potentially stall in in the long run. Who knows? It is in theory. But basically, I do allow Skarmory to get recovery, and that's that's a big nope that you should never be able to do. Um, third mistake, um, you turning on Slowbro. <laughs> but I would never predict that counter anyway. But you know, I, I could have gauged that. Um, I was thinking, you know, oh, I'm going to get a massive momentum here. We're going to bomb that slow roll. He stayed in and out when Skarmory. I was thinking something something is up here. <laughs> but, well, I never expected that. And I thought it was beautiful. Um, so to go there, if anything, you know, I'm, I'm clearly knocked out here because of this loss. Uh, but I felt we both got to showcase really, really good game plans here. And for me, this is what it's all about. Uh, while I, you know, as always, won't be, of course, in playoff, I actually took a team that had all their three losses, and I'm going against players that clearly knows what they're doing. I think Paul Deo did this game great, and I was really, really impressed with his work. And, um, you know, if I'm going to lose, if I lose like this, and, you know, it's still down to the wire, I think it's a good loss. So I'll take it. So, with that said, of course, I always got to check out his side of this battle. I think you guys are going to enjoy it quite a lot. And, uh, well, I'll see you guys next week versus Hero Horde. Oh, you know, even though I'm out, I'm still going to win the rest of my games. It's, it's no problem. Anyway, guys, take care. <laughs> Bye.